Hello friends, welcome Priyanka's Home Kitchen. Today I am going to show you a South Indian style chicken curry with coconut milk. So let's start with ingredients. So for that here I have taken around 2 pounds of chicken with bone and to marinate here I have taken uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of salt and one and half tablespoons of lemon juice and to make gravy here I have taken around two teaspoons of whole coriander seeds one teaspoon of cumin seeds less than of uh, one teaspoon black uh, whole peppercorns few methi seeds or fenugreek seeds one small cinnamon stick five green cardamoms four dried and whole red chilies around one teaspoon of mustard seeds one teaspoon of paprika half a teaspoon of turmeric powder around two tablespoons of tamarind pulp around five to six tablespoons of oil one large onion finely chopped few curry pattar curry leaves five to six garlic cloves sliced and one or one or one to half inch uh, ginger sliced around one uh, one half uh, around one cup of uh, grated coconut coconut milk salt to taste and water to make gravy so at first i'm going to marinate this chicken so for that at first i'm going to add this lemon juice and turmeric powder and salt now mixing very well so my mixing is done so now I'm going to leave it for about at least half an hour so after half an hour my marinating is done so now I'm going to make this chicken curry so to make this chicken curry at first I'm going to dry roast this uh, coconut grated coconut stirring I will roast it just lightly so after a few minutes a nice roasting aroma is coming out and also it has changed color lightly so my coconut roasting is done so now I am going to take it out so after that I am going to roast this all spices so for that here I have taken around 1 tablespoon of oil and at first I am going to add 1 cinnamon stick, 4 green cardamom, just stirring a little bit and also now we have to keep this temperature at low to medium high and then adding cumin seeds. then coriander seeds again stir a little bit also fenugreek seeds then black, black pepper peppercorn again stirring a little bit Next, four dried red chilies and again strain a little bit. Mm, the ninth aroma is coming out, and now I'm going to add this ginger and garlic. Again, stirring. Keep stirring. So after a few minutes, this ginger and garlic also got fried lightly, and the nice aroma is coming out. And also, they got changed their color. So once you get that, you can understand that your roasting or frying is done so now I'm going to turn up the heat and let it cool it down then I will uh, grind it to make a fine paste 
and now after cooling it down now i'm going to grind it the spices and this coconut together so for that Also adding this roasted coconut. And little bit water. Now I'm going to grind it. So you can see that I have made this paste. So I took uh, out this paste from the blender and now I'm going to make the curry so for that here i have taken around uh, four tablespoons of oil and my oil is already heated so at first i'm going to add this around one teaspoon of uh, mustard seeds so mustard seeds are sputtering so at this point i'm going to add this uh, curry pasta stirring into it And after 15 to 20 seconds, I'm going to add this chopped onion. Then curry. And also I'm going to add the salt. Salt to taste. And I will fry this onion till it uh, becomes a uh, light golden brown color. So my onion already became light uh, golden color. So now I'm going to add this turmeric powder and paprika. Then stirring. And also I'm going to add this uh, spices paste which I already made before. And mixing very well. And I will fry this all things together till the oil starts to separate from this all spices. So keep stirring. So after a few minutes oil already uh, has separated from the spices so now I'm going to add this marinated chicken now mixing it very well okay so after mixing I will uh, fry this chicken with these spices for about at least 15 to 20 minutes at low to medium high temperature and if that time it becomes too dry that time you can sprinkle a little bit water otherwise chicken or spices can burn and keep stirring. Like this. So now I won't add any water. And after 15 minutes, I'm going to add some water. Also adding this tamarind pulp. Around 2 tablespoons of tamarind pulp. Then again stirring. I guess that I need little bit more tamarind pulp. So I'm going to add another 1 tablespoon of tamarind pulp. I'm mixing. Now cover it with the lid and cook it till the all chicken become tender and after 20 to 25 minutes chicken already became tender so at this point I am going to add around 1 cup of coconut milk and mixing very well. And after mixing again cover it with the lid and again cook it for about 4 to 5 minutes so it can absorb the all flavor and after 4 minutes you can see that my this chicken curry is done and nice flavor is coming out the 
coconut flavor and the curry patta flavor is to get gather this all flavor is coming out so and the gravy consistency is totally up to you how thickness you want there is no right or wrong so my chicken curry is done so friends here is my south indian style chicken curry with coconut milk and i garnished it with grated coconut and one curry leaf and you can take it with plain white rice and enjoy and see you with my next video